begging you to stay mm -hmm. So maybe if you ask me yesterday Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kiera. I'm a mom to three little girls. I make videos about lunch motivation, clean motivation, and grocery hauls. So if you like videos like that, I hope that you would consider subscribing. It is 11.50 a.m. Y'all, I have been so busy all freaking morning. I have an extreme migraine right now i'm not even gonna lie to y'all my head hurts so bad but y'all know how it is when you're a mom there's no such thing as i can't do it i won't do it when you're a mama you got to do it so even though i'm not really feeling the best i gotta do what i gotta do my kids need food in the house my man gotta eat we needed um some other things but that's gonna be in a separate video so yeah, I had to go out here and go get things done. I'm gonna be productive even if I am not feeling my best. So as y'all can see behind me, I have a Aldi's grocery haul. Y'all, I don't know what I was thinking about. I had a whole list made of what I was supposed to get and I got up in Aldi's and you know how when you go in the store and you just looking around and you see certain stuff, you're like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna just throw it in the basket so i got a little i got a little happy this week so my list on instacart because that's what i use to make my grocery list so i can remember when i go to the store even though i'm only 28 years old yes i do forget things so i have to make a list it is what it is i'm a little old lady i'm an old lady at heart so yes i'm gonna make me a list to make sure so don't get me wrong i got the stuff on the list right i just picked up some other stuff that won't on the list so like i said the total was 118 dollars girl when i left out of all of these girl i spent 156 dollars right okay yeah i was just throwing it in the basket like it was tax time or some girl but it wasn't like stuff that you know like oh stuff that i wanted or like uh decor or something like that or a bunch of candles or something like that it was groceries it was food you know everybody need food right so i'm not gonna beat myself up i mean hey i paid for it so i'm not gonna beat myself up for it or whatever you know the more food the better right right so like i said i spent 156 dollars so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this grocery haul but before we do make sure you guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you are new and make sure you share this video as well and let's go ahead and get in to it all right, y'all, we're gonna do it like this while I'm standing to the side and doing a little haul like this. It's a little bit easier, y'all. I'm trying to, I'm gonna get this video out, but I'm trying to hurry up and get it done too because before I know it'll be time to get my kids off the bus. So let's go. So first things first, I got some more Dove Sensitive Soap. This is two bars. It was $3.68. Last week I had ordered some more sensitive bars, but they gave me the Dove Moisturizing. Y'all know the blue one, the dark blue one. They gave me those bars and I don't like to use um, any other type of soap on the girl's skin. They use the Dove Sensitive, but I will do the yardly soap as a backup as an alternative because um nyla when she was a baby she had eczema real bad so her doctor had recommended her use either sensitive soap or the yardly soap so i won't really fill in the yardly soap because it would kind of cause like because she's older now so it would kind of cause like a flare up when the weather would change. So I was like, all right, we just gonna go to the Dove Sensitive and I haven't had no issues since. My other two daughters, Aaliyah and Tamia, they don't have um, eczema or skin problems. They really don't matter with those two, but for me, it's just easier for everybody just to use the same soap. So long, long story short, the girl's gonna use the Dove Sensitive Soap. Now, of course, I'm waiting on a sale I don't know if it's gonna be from Walmart or from Amazon so I can get a big thing of sensitive soap again so that way I don't have to keep my you know little bars of soap. Um I also got me and Bay some toothbrushes. Me and him needed new toothbrushes. I got his dad. This was like a dollar and I don't quote me, it was a dollar and some change for a pack or two. 
I also had to get some more ketchup because we were running low on ketchup. I had to get me some more disinfectant wipes. I needed some for the kitchen. Yes, I said the kitchen. So I keep disinfectant wipes in the bathroom and I keep some disinfectant wipes in the kitchen. That way I don't have to keep, you know, when I get in cleaning mode, I ain't got to keep going, oh God, I got to walk all the way to the bathroom and get some disinfectant wipes to clean in the kitchen. Because sometimes y'all, when I'm tired and I do want to clean, you know, you know how you clean up after dinner or whatever and you're tired and you just, like, just want to hurry up and get it done so you just take a disinfectant wipe and wipe down the counter and all of that yeah i believe my disinfectant wipes already there so we can just keep it going um i also picked up some pure canola oil just because i be going to go make myself some um roasted potatoes and then i forget like girl you need a little something something and then i did want to get some more oil too just because um when I cook chicken and stuff sometimes, I need to give, you know, a beta option like, hey, do you want to eat baked chicken with me or you want to eat fried chicken or you want to eat baked pork chops or you want to eat fried pork chops, you know. Just because I'm on this diet doesn't mean he have to be on the diet too. Now, they, now the girls, they don't really, they, it don't really matter to them for real because I'm not going to lie half the time, y'all. When I cook dinner, the girls always be like they want something else or they'll eat like one part of dinner like say i make chicken vegetables and macaroni and cheese they'll eat the veggies and the macaroni and cheese and then they'll want something else they don't want the chicken so half of the time it really don't be mattering um then i got us uh, some thick sliced bacon i didn't i've never seen this in the store but i picked it up today because it's the same price as the other bacon so it is what it is I also picked up some black Angus stew meat. Y'all know it's just steak cut up or whatever. So I got this. I'm getting ready to make this for Bay because we got some leftover mashed potatoes that I made last night. It was our anniversary the night before. And I made us some, what did, what did I make? I made us some mashed potatoes, broccoli, and then this honey glazed, honey glazed salmon salmon bites and it was so so good so of course we ain't got no leftovers on the salmon so we got mashed potatoes left so i got this so i can make him this for he go to work and then i'm gonna eat this for dinner and i'm pretty sure now it's probably gonna want some too because she likes steak then i also picked up some ground beef it is 85 percent lean and 15 percent fat i'm going to make spaghetti remember y'all when y'all get y'all ground beef if you are trying to lose weight or trying to be healthier the less fat the better but of course when you buy bigger packages the the package that has the least fat in it i think is 93 percent lean and seven percent fat it always come in a package about half this size so you know you just gotta take one for the team this one had the least amount of fat as a bigger package so it is what it is and then i also picked up some bone-in pork chops i have not brought bone-in pork chops in a very very long time and i was like you know what let's switch it up bone-in pork chops have more meat anyway but the boneless pork chops are less calories less calories so anybody that's on a diet or trying to eat healthier just know that the boneless pork chops is less calories moving on i got some more seasoned fries i got some sweet corn i don't know what it is for some reason i've just been craving veggies and corn together i don't know what's going on but i got three bags because these bags of Frozen corn are only 66 cent at all. And I bought three packs. Then I got the tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. They didn't have the sauce that I really, really liked in there. And I searched y'all. They did not have it. I walked the store three times looking for it. They did not have it. So I just got this one. Then I also got us uh, some elbow macaroni, 
So when I make the spaghetti, I'm gonna use the elbow macaroni in the south, they call it goulash. So that's what I'm gonna make us. I wanted to get the wheat noodles, but of course all this did not have it. Like I said, I walked the store three times, they didn't have it and I had already been out. So I was like, F it. We just finna get these regular elbow macaronis. It says zero, zero saturated fat, zero sodium. So boom. Then I got myself some more protein bars. I brought these last week for the first time and I like them. I didn't see my regular cookie dough ones. I didn't see them. So I will settle for this. Plus it's cheap on my pockets. It's $2.75. Then I picked up some macaroni and cheese. I did not want to buy this one. I wanted to get the organic macaroni and cheese so I could eat some too, but they didn't have it and I won't go into no other story, y'all. So I got this. Then this was one of the things that I just decided to pick up. So I got myself some blueberry bagels now. I used to eat bagels when I had just gave birth to Tamia. So Tamia's five years old. So that's five years ago. And I don't know why I stopped eating them. I'm like, you know what? If I eat a bagel and some fruit, or if I eat a bagel and some protein yogurt, like I'm pretty much gonna be full. You know, so I'm like, let me give me some bagels and I got the flavor of blueberry. But y'all, not only did I get the blueberry kind, y'all, I got the cinnamon raisin kind. So yeah, y'all, like I said, I was just walking around the store. Normally I go in there with my little list and I just keep it pushing, but I went in there today and I was like, yeah, let me treat myself just a little bit. So I got the cinnamon raisin bagels. Okay, then I picked up some hamburger buns for Bay and Nala for when we eat burgers or chicken sandwiches or whatever because y'all know I'm still doing my calorie count and I'm still trying to lose this last 20 pounds. I want to get to 150. So I get them the regular hamburger buns. And I got myself the 100% whole wheat bread. This is 70 calories. The hamburger roll is 120 calories. Then I got some strawberries. This is actually organic strawberries. And the reason why I picked these up because when I looked in the other section that had the regular strawberries, y'all, they didn't look good. So I'm like, we're gonna get these organic strawberries. I'm pretty sure the kids probably really not gonna taste the difference or whatever. So yeah, strawberries. Of course y'all, I got my frozen strawberries for my smoothies. Got base some um, pineapple chunks. Sun chips, right? Two eggs. So, I was up in all these, and like I said, y'all, I walked the whole store. Girl, I looked over and I said, is that sun chips over there? And not only did they have the garden salsa flavor, girl, they had harvest cheddar too. So I was like, yeah, harvest cheddar ain't the best. Like, if you ever had sun chips, garden salsa is the best point blank period so the reason why i grabbed two bags is because i got bay his own bag because he like um garden salsa too and i got myself my own bag that's a good um that's a good snack to eat as well if you are on a diet too then i got myself these big barbecue chips i told y'all these are good they taste just like the lays big barbecue too <clears throat> i was walking around the store and i also found this whole wheat protein cinnamon french toast sticks now i have a hard time trying to find different stuff to eat because i'm a picky eater so when i'm looking around to try to find stuff that's high in protein that i like it's hard to come by and i know this is going to be seasonal i know it is it's not going to stay long but i say you know what 
I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try them, and then if I buy them again, then you'll know like it was good. Got some more corn dogs, y'all. I brought these last week. Now I ate the whole box by herself. Nobody else got a chance to get a corn dog, so I got her some more. Then I got us some fish sticks. I haven't brought fish sticks in a long time, but I buy these just in case the kids want them for lunch. Or like I said, if it's one night where I'm not really feeling the best or if I got to go to work later on, I don't have time to cook. Something quick to me. Then I also got some more chicken breast fillets. We go through chicken breast sandwiches like really, really quick in this house. And then I also picked up Tamiya some more baby carrots. This big bag is only 99 cents. I don't know if I showed y'all and I got them some grapes too. Okay, moving on, got some orange juice. Y'all know I got two bottles. Then I got Nala's Lemonade. I took the last two bottles of lemonade. Yes, I did. Ask me, did I care? No, I didn't. Then I got the girls some bananas. These are six bananas. Then I got 1% milk. I noticed that the girls don't really care for whole milk anymore, nor the 2%. But they like the milk that they get in the McDonald's Happy Meal, which is 1%. So I'm buying 1% now for them. And then last but not least, y'all, I found a new flavor of cranberry juice in all these. It's cranberry raspberry. Now, I've never tasted the cranberry raspberry as far as the Ocean Spray brand go. But we're going to try this and see what it tastes like. And guess what? I took the only two bottles up in there. And what I said, ask me if I care. I showed and I care. I took them both. And I forgot. Got my protein yogurt. So like I said, y'all, I went in the store. I got a little fancy, a little happy. I was throwing stuff all up in the basket. But we're going to go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you have not already. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. You can make it grow.